A Ukrainian mother and her daughter are taking a major step in their recovery here in San Diego. They were seriously hurt in a Russian missile attack while fleeing Ukraine back in April. And today, they're learning to walk with their new legs. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco with how a San Diego nonprofit is making their journey possible. And this is why she's going to be starting physical therapy. Yana Stepanenko is like most girls her age. So she jumps on the trampoline, she swims in the pool, and she plays games on her um, tablet. But unlike most 11-year-olds, Yana is relearning how to do all of her favorite activities. She is extremely excited that she is now able to walk better than she did even the other day. Yana and her mom just got fitted for their prosthetics a few days ago. Natalia Stepanenko, Yana, and other family members were greeted at the San Diego airport in July. Yana and her mom were caught in a Russian missile attack on a train station in April. Yana lost both legs. Her mom lost one. She saw Yana laying on the ground next to their grandmother. Her grandmother was killed. Stepanenko's husband died weeks later fighting the war. San Diego's Right to Walk Foundation helped bring the family here. The two will spend at least a year getting rehab at Peter Harsh Prosthetics. Once she got the wheelchair, once they started having mm -hmm. mobility, they started having more hope. Blast wounds disperse shrapnel and rocks and dirt. And what we have with both Yana and her mom is that we have limbs that were blown off in a very traumatic way. Harsh says they are the first Ukrainian refugees to come to the U.S. for prosthetic care. These people are very resilient. They've lost their homes, their land, family members and friends. In spite of all that loss, they are filled with gratitude. She is very happy and very grateful that her child will walk. They plan to return to Ukraine, and when that day comes, they hope there is peace. In Mira Mesa, Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. The Right to Walk Foundation and other nonprofits are helping the family find a van and housing. Yana and her twin brother, who wasn't injured, will start school in the fall.